Welcome back everybody and today we are going to be doing a salt painting with jellyfish. Now you can make your jellyfish any color you'd like but I'm just going to show you the steps to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a piece of paper. Now if you don't have construction paper at home that's fine you can use whatever you have lying about. Then you're going to take some glue and you can draw these out if you want to ahead of time but you're just going to draw on a half circle but you don't want to close it off and then you're just going to draw some squiggly lines and then some little tentacles coming down And then you're going to take a brush and pull this glue in towards the middle. Okay. Once you get that done, you don't want to touch those. You can thin that out if you want, if you don't want to use that as much glue. But then you are going to take some salt and sprinkle over your glue. So technically you could do this outside because it is messy. But if you live in Windy, Oklahoma like I do, that's not going to be an option most days. So, at this point, you will then do two more jellyfish and then let it dry. And then you'll pick this up and take off all the extra salt. And then, at this point... You will do two more jellyfish, add the salt, and then shake off the extras. So you will then have three jellyfish. You're going to let it completely dry, and then you can go in with your watercolor. So to wake up your paint, you're just going to add a little bit of water to your paint. You could also use a spray bottle and just gently spritz it over and it would get your paints primed and ready to go. So I'm going to dip into a little bit of paint and you barely have to touch this and it'll start dispersing. So I'm just going to go through and add my paint. I'm going to do a warm color, which is these three colors right here. And then I'm going to do a cool color one, which will be these three colors. And then I'm going to end this one down here with a rainbow color.
So at this point, I really like this and I almost want to keep it, but I want to show you guys warm colors and cool colors. So I'm going to continue on. Okay, so once you get your jellyfish all painted, you can then go through and add lots of bubbles since they are in the water. So I'm just adding circles with little C's on the side. You might want to clean up first, unlike I did. So I'm first just going with some light, as you can tell. So I added the white. Now I'm going to go in with this lighter blue, just to give a little bit of illusion of the sheerness. And then I'm going to go in with this light lavender color just to give a little bit more color. point we are done and you should have your finished jellyfish be sure to let this dry probably overnight and then shake it outside or over the trash can just to get the rest of the salt off i hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and have fun